we first well we've it's we thought we'd met but we haven't met there but we both went to the same place which was city opera at the city lit yes that's i was convinced that's where we met absolutely <laughs> convinced no but, but we presumably not no, so we're just realising that we, you know, that we went to the same place. And uh, it was run by, you say, Margaret Gibbs. Yeah, I did it under the direction of Margaret Gibbs. Yeah. And then I, I, I worked with Peter Crockford, who was just, you know, amazing. I loved him. I really, really loved oh, him. Oh, fab. Yeah, he was. He yeah. Was absolutely fab. Lots of good things came out of that place. Yeah. Lots of good things. And I made some amazing friendships that I still have today, you know. It's amazing yeah. that when we're put in a forum to learn, you know, how many people that we kind of stay connected with and stay, you know, that become really special. For yeah. Us, you know. Well, it's because it's a real journey. And I think it's also because we have to put so much of ourselves and trust into it yeah. that, you know, yeah, yeah, you, you do build relationships really quickly in those scenarios. Yeah. And I do think that City Opera in itself always really believed it didn't matter what level you were at. You know, yeah. they just yeah. believed that you could, you had something, and they wanted yeah. to draw it out of you. And um, yeah, I have, I have a very big soft spot for City Lit and City Opera. I really do, really do. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, so it's so lovely to have you here this morning. Anyway, so thank you for having me. It's nine oh one. It's gonna crack be of dawn. My catchphrase. Everybody keeps saying that that it's like the crack of dawn. It's so true. So hi everybody. <laughs> I'm Nadine Benjamin and I'm a professional opera singer. I'm known as the intuitive soprano Verdi Soprano. I'm a certified high performance coach and I'm a certified NLP neuro linguistic, the way we speak to the brain and programming the way we reframe the brain. So I'm a, a certified NLP mind coach and I'm also a healer. So it's so wonderful to be here with you. I'm on 12 week safe at home. And I thought while I'm here, because I can't leave my house, how can I connect with everybody in the world? And I just thought it would be wonderful to share some of my sources of my coaching and some of the wonderful people that I have in my life. And today we have Marika Rauscher. And I'm so happy that she's here. Marika is based in London. She's a global award-winning opera crossover soprano and has an international and is also an international award-winning vocal coach enjoying a varied career under the vocal umbrella of, of skills. As a performer she works as a soloist, a session singer and bespoke entertainment specialist for corporate and private engagements. Now, as I always say at the beginning of the, if you need any medical or psychiatrist or Samaritans or, you know, you need to phone someone regarding domestic violence or any of those things, please, please, please pick up the phone to someone. It's really important while we're in these spaces now that you absolutely, absolutely, if you can pick up that phone and if you are afraid of picking up the phone, Sit, get a friend to support you in it and 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 make that call because we really encourage it i'll put some of those uh, samaritans and domestic violence in the comment section um just in case you're unsure of what those numbers are okay so marika how are you i'm very well touch wood thank you uh, it was yeah, yeah, birthday very well. yesterday i understand it was it was my birthday well, happy and many congratulations to you. Thank you. And I want to say thank you to everyone. My Facebook was flooded. I actually got blocked. I couldn't say thank you. Facebook thought I was a spammer for saying thank you. So apologies, I haven't said thank you to everyone. This is my public thank you. Oh, brilliant. I'm so happy about that. So tell us, Marika, how did you get into singing? Gosh, I, I've always been singing, you know. Yeah. I'm convinced that I came out of my mum's womb singing. Um, <laughs> people say, no, that was a scream. I was like, listen, it was my first attempt. <laughs> was your first attempt that good? <laughs> Harsh critics. Harsh. <laughs> um, but it actually, so I've always been singing, even at school. I was that sort of 
um, the kid who's always got their head in the clouds singing, la, 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 never looking yeah. where I'm going. Yeah. And, but I actually didn't find the confidence. I didn't have the confidence as a kid to yeah. be a first study singer. So yeah. I actually went to university as a first study flautist oh, wow. and changed in my second year to first study singing. Yeah. So it was then out of the confines of being in my own home um, with all the people I knew, with all the pressures. And I just felt, yeah. oh, do you know what? I can really explore myself a bit more here. Yeah, yeah. And that's where my voice came into, into being, really. Um, and then after that, you know, I just found my voice. So yeah. I didn't have the technique I needed to be doing all the crazy stuff I was doing. Yeah. Um, and then had to come back after university and had vocal coaches in London and it took me about a year or two years just to sort my voice out again because yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. That's quite common, isn't it, for people to get into that space where they have to take some concentrated time to sort their voices out, which is really, really important. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 It's so true. I've got a, a handful of students at the moment, same thing, straight out of college. Yeah. And they need to realign their voice. Yeah. So and it's a brave and courageous thing to do because you're having to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. It's, it's massive. Yeah. I mean, the sort of the, the trust that we have yeah. together and it does have to be a good fit. And I'm yeah. very honest about that. Yeah. I said, you have, you're going to have to trust me 100% because yeah. this journey is emotional yes. and yeah. challenging. Yeah. And I said, I'll hold your hand through everything, but if it's not clicking for, for you or for me, yeah, then you've yeah. got to find someone that you do click with because it's such a personal journey. Yeah. I'm just going to say hello. Hello, Lorraine. Um, Lorraine saying hello, Marika. Hey, Lorraine. Good morning, Susan. Morning, Susan saying hello to morning to us both. <laughs> so then, so your your singing kind of developed into you started off in opera. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So I trained classically in opera, yeah. um, and then started doing, as we were saying, uh, yeah. productions with City Opera. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was just expecting to get chorus. You know, I really needed a platform to see because I'd only learnt on my own. I'd never yeah. been in a full-scale opera. I did contemporary music and contemporary theatre, yeah. um, physical theatre at university. So I had to come back and start all over again, really. Yeah, yeah. And I was working full-time in city banks, doing human resources yeah. and all sorts. Oh, so I just the needed- same as me. I was in banking as well. I was in merchant banking. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's a very similar pathway and then doing yeah. everything. And that was funding my courses, exactly. language courses. Um, yeah. And I needed those platforms to try my feet, uh, you know, and just get my feet wet with it and see, is this something I'd want to invest in? Is this something I want to pursue? Because yeah. otherwise it is financially crippling. And Absolutely. if you're not one, if you're not 100% sure that that's the road to go down, you're going to find yourself broke and unhappy. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I can go. <laughs> So, but then what, what's really interesting about you and what I love, you know, and we share this in that we we take lots of risks. I've, no, I've noticed that in you as a person and an artist and I'm the same. So we jump into the fire and say, yes, we're going to do this. Yeah. And what you did was you then experimented with different other ways of singing, like with jazz and pop and you, yeah. you crossed over, didn't you? I did, yeah. So I was the in-house opera singer at Harrods. Yeah, and yeah. I then had a job opportunity to go over to the Middle East for six yeah. months and yeah. sing on a seven-star man-made island. And God, it was hardcore. They wanted you to sing six hours a day, six days a week. You know, it was just like, I'm not a machine. Yeah. But it was oh, it was through shifts. So, yeah. you know, but it was over there and there really wasn't an audience because it was like street performance. Yeah, yeah. And so I went, why am I killing myself singing opera in the desert heat if there's no audience? <laughs> you know? It, so, uh, I just was like, took it as a performance. You know, I was like, I'm going to sing all the stuff I want to sing in the shower out here and just test the water out because there's no one here listening. Yeah. yeah. And that's when, and because I was with a troupe of 20 artists, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I hadn't had that platform to work with different styles and different instruments. And yeah, yeah. so we just had loads of jam sessions and yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, yeah. I haven't jammed or improvised in years. It was I petrified. Know. 
I was absolutely <laughs> petrified because I was like, oh God, what if I sound crap? They'll all realize I'm a crap musician. And, you know. <laughs> and they were like, no, this is meant to be fun. I was just like, yeah. it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> I so love what you're saying about, you know, because recently I've just been coming back to myself because I compose. And so oh. I've just come back to making new tracks as well. Like I'm like going awesome. back to a little bit of drum and bass. So I really, I really understand that it is about stepping into that space of how do I create again as well? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. I mean, funny you should say that because I've actually got a friend of mine. She's a drummer and runs a, a drum and bass night. Yeah. And so... I've gone in and done opera over drum and bass. Yes. <laughs> Why not? Exactly, exactly. So then... now if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. <laughs> so what? Let's be creative. So tell me then, so after you've kind of, you've gone into the jazz, you've gone into this crossover soprano, you then started to do some coaching. How did that yes. um, materialise? Um, I needed money. Yeah. Uh, I, I needed to get out of human resources yeah. and I had to make the decision of how am I going to finance myself yeah, through this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was leading a double life. I was leading the corporate life and mm. the artist life yeah. and I'm not a very good liar. Yeah. I, I'm, I just don't have a, I just don't have the capacity or the brain to keep yeah. up with my own lies. So... <laughs> You know, having to tell one client, oh, I can't pick up the phone because I'm in an audition instead of a meeting. And I was just like, they were like, how's the audition go? I went, what audition? You know, it was exhausting just to try and keep up the, the persona. Yeah. Um, so I had to jump ship and I had to delve in 100% mm -hmm. and say, if you give it 100%, you will get 100% out of it. Absolutely. It's the biggest leap of faith. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I also knew that I had to stick with the office job for another year or two to save up a bit of money because I was like, if I need to have a six month buffer yeah. in case it goes horribly wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then it was coaching. I just need to start teaching. I was like, OK, um, yeah. but I was petrified of that, too, because it's such yeah. a responsibility to take on somebody else's voice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's not until you start teaching that you suddenly realize how much knowledge you have exactly oh my gosh so I mean, um it was morning good. gabby morning rebecca rebecca says brilliant Mar Mar marika and lorraine is saying how did singing over drum and bass work out <laughs> it was a goddamn giggle lorraine <laughs> it <was> awesome. <laughs> no it was actually it worked really well instead of you know people always think that as an opera singer i also thought of as well that i need to sing a song a yeah, whole yeah. song yeah. and um, that wasn't my vision with drum and bass. I just went, actually, I just need to throw in a few operatic riffs yeah, and just exactly. find where those layers come in yeah. and seeing what instrumentation I can blend with or go against. Yeah. You know, what's going to cause an exciting friction. Um, so yeah. it was soundscaping more than singing. Yeah, Marika, that's exactly how I treat drum and bass. I love it, and I love it. We have a fellow uh, f friend as well, David Butt Phillip, who's also a drum and bass. Oh well. yeah, so, yeah. So oh, I, is he? Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So it's really mm. nice. That we've we've got, we've so got to do an opera and drum and bass opera. Somebody's got to oh write that for us. Who's yeah. out there who Let's wants to write that for me, David Butt Phillip, and Marika? Please do. we we like we would love it. <laughs> Look at us getting tricky with it at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. So it's really great that you that you talk about, you know, taking risk and just saying, you know, the honesty that you were, you know, felt a little bit frightened and unsure about, you know, taking that responsibility mm. because there's going to be a lot of singers now that or a lot of artists now that are having to teach their next set of where they're going online and like yeah. you I've come out of the corporate world I went into the I've come I went into the artistic world and now I'm going back into the corporate world as well you know because yeah. I'm a fully qualified coach and I have to get back online and doing that I thought I was going to be doing that like 10 years from now you know luckily I've always kept up my qualifications because yeah. like you I'm always like practice makes permanent you know we've got to keep yeah. you know doing our skills Absolutely. But, you know, there's going to be a lots of people now that are going, oh, my gosh, how do I get online? How do I do this? And I was talking to you and you were talking about that you've been working with choirs and all around singing yeah. for well-being. And so can yes. you talk a little bit about that for me? Yeah. So 
The choirs that I've been uh, working with are community choirs. So yeah. they're not auditioned choirs. They're welcome for all ages from 18 up. Yeah. Um, and it was the, I was very lucky that I was getting funding for that. And oh, there was a training yeah. budget. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there was a training budget within that uh, yeah. funding bracket. Yeah. And um, I was lucky enough that they said, well, you can ascertain what training you think you need rather than mm -hmm. us t t telling you what you need. Yeah. Um, because it was a bigger organization and there were different choir leaders and we all had different strengths and different weaknesses, you yeah. know. And so- Or different I was creature trying... strengths, I always say. Yeah. <laughs> um, that, I like that. <laughs> that's not I mine, like that's like Derry Llewellyn is somebody that um, does the business page. I know Derry. <laughs> Do you? Oh, that, that, that's his line. Future strength. I love it. And I once I got that, I never forgot it. And I've never said weakness after that. <laughs> love it. Love it. Exactly. Erase the negative connotation. Yeah, exactly. Um, and where were we? Oh, yes, community choirs. Yeah. And so I was learning from my participants because it was literally what is their need? I think the biggest problem is that we always think about the I. Yeah. Um, instead of the what is what do they need from me? Yeah, you know. Um, yes. So yeah, and there was a lot of with communities. It's an older pocket of, yeah. of participants. Yeah, uh, very vulnerable, very yeah. isolated, yeah. and this is before lockdown. Yeah, you know. So coming out to choir once a week might have been the only time they actually leave the house or yeah. their flat. Yeah. You know, the only people they might see is their carer. Mm -hmm. So they're coming for social inclusion and mm -hmm. they then you you realize that they've got breathing problems or mental health issues, mm -hmm. postural issues, mm -hmm. arthritis, older age with the voice. And, you know, it's their love of singing, number one. Mm -hmm. So I, I wasn't working with the perfection of of the choir mm. I, I wasn't going with a polished article mm. it was singing for your enjoyment yeah. but doing that well and doing it safely yeah and teaching and they really and everyone's really enjoys a challenge and they love learning yeah. you know i thought they just all wanted to have a sing-along but they were like oh no why do i do that or yeah. you know and it's important for everyone to know why they are doing something yeah, because then they can clarity. do it at home yes clarity very very important one of the number one things that I work with in high performance is clarity, yeah. Yes, and as a coach and as a yeah. teacher, yeah. is if, if anybody wanted advice out there of, you know, if you're saying, well, how do I transition into online teaching or coaching? Yeah. It's, you know what your skill set is, but yeah. to call yourself the coach or the teacher is having the clarity of being able to explain that to multiple different people with learn different learning yeah. abilities, yeah. you know, because we all understand things differently and it's tabbing into how are you going to connect with that? Yes. Yeah. So some people work uh, on a scientific level and they want to have all the medical stuff about the voice. Yeah. Other people work very much with visualization. Yes. Um, I, I work very much with color. I'm yes. a color palette person yeah. and texture. Yeah. So I'm very sensual. Yeah. Um, so it's just connecting into those different ways of thinking about things and learning, especially when you're talking about something tangible like the voice. Yeah. You know, so Absolutely. So how are you going to get that the choir online? How does that how does that work? Well, we launched on Tuesdays. Oh, so wow. that was really exciting. Tell us about really it. exciting. It's with Chelsea Theatre, yeah. um, so it's under their umbrella, which yeah, is yeah. great because that's where I was hosting the choir anyway. Yeah. Um, and I uh, was holding out because obviously when we're past lockdown, I, I want to go back into the venue. So I wanted the venue yeah. still to be very much connected in that process. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's we're doing it on Zoom. And yeah. it, um, like anyone who's been going on to online, everyone basically it's a very different way of working and a very different interaction process yeah. you can't yeah. sing at the same time yeah. you can't talk at the same time yeah. so when you've got um we had 20 people join the the virtual choir so yeah. it was awesome but you do have to mute everyone yeah. and then it, you can still do a lot of techniques so if i was demonstrating and then just allowing them the time 
yeah to repeat it back to me yeah um and then we we like to do a bit of technique and then we go into singing of songs so <laughs> we were sh screen sharing and i had somebody on admin to help scroll the words up and down because obviously oh, i was playing the piano and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or ukulele or guitar or whatever instrument i'm on the day yeah um and everyone sings along at home so they're still joining in but the only one that can hear them is themselves oh wow so and whereas some people find that a bit alienating they were hoping that it was going to be a group experience of hearing yeah. everybody else singing yeah. i was saying well do you know what this is a real positive because this is an opportunity for people who don't or are too shy to come to choir yeah. because they think they have to be a good singer yeah. or they said i've never done it before or i don't know if i can sing in tune here's your chance no oh, one can yeah. hear you but you have yeah. a bloody good sing let it rip yeah you know and that's what the my choirs are all about it's it's singing safely but it's that uplifting of spirit and that yeah. coming together and releasing all those endorphins that singing releases to yeah. really give us a, a heightened sense of well-being it lifts our spirits we come together it's a social inclusion yeah. just seeing other people's faces yeah. and i was so proud of them because it was the first time a lot of them have, have gone online for anything oh wow and so that, and that was really thing, emotional isn't it it's it's that thing that this online thing at the moment is about courage for everybody everybody's having oh to God. Go what i call courage muscles <laughs> to really, yes to, to, to i mean <laughs> yeah go ahead go ahead yeah no i was the same it's sort of like yeah. i was getting quite anxious about it because yeah. you want it to be of value yeah you know and they know what our choir sessions are like. Yeah. So it's, yeah. and I still want to connect with everyone. And you're just thinking, I've done a lot of the one-to-one -one online, yeah, yeah. but how are the group sessions going to work? And how do yeah. we, and I really put a lot of thought into that. And, yeah. you know, but it is, we all have the fear. Yeah. You know, everyone yeah. thinks it's only them and that we're the professionals out there, yeah. you know, flying yeah. on it. And it's just like, so it's good to know that we're, we're not all alone. in this together. Yeah, when, <laughs> when when we're not alone, you know. And you know, you know, there. Are, I would love to hear your tips. But one of the tips that I always talk about, and if you are online, anybody. Oh, bye, Lorraine. Take care. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, bye, Lorraine. Thank you. <laughs> but um, if you are going online and you are teaching and you are coaching, one of the things that we do in high performance is always, 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 if you've been you know, teaching for say 50 or 55 minutes, you know, please take at least five minutes break. Yes. And we need to, in between people yes. that you are teaching. And if Ooh. you can take in that five minutes or that 10 minutes, please go to the loo, A, two, yeah. hydrate, really, yes. really important, drink some water, and three, move. <laughs> Oh my god moving yeah. so important because we're but sat yeah. on chairs we're sat on chairs and you yeah. know and we can't you know we, we we're, we're in looking at a computer we're forward whereas if you then open your back if you i mean yesterday we had claire dale on talking about physical intelligence she gave us some good body movement tips you know yeah, i saw some of that it was awesome. yeah yeah but it is about you know like making sure that we also have the self-care so we can serve everybody else because then we've got yeah. anything for the next person you know that's so the one thing we forget about uh, <laughs> Exactly. So tell me, Marika, what, what 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 tips have you got for us? Oh gosh, you know, I'd I'd say to people, number one, right, is we're always talk, we're talking about singing, and yeah. it's because that's what we do and that's what we specialize in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we're talking about, and it is my groups are for singing, singing for well being, singing for lung health, mm. singing for breathing, yeah. um, stress, anxiety, mm. but. For the love of God, singing is not the only route to do that. Yeah. And if it's not for you, people, some people just don't connect with it. It's yeah. not their thing. Yeah. And if it doesn't connect with you, it, it doesn't resonate with you and it doesn't give you the vibrations you need, mm. find something that does. Dance. I did a I did some line dancing instead of my exercise class because yeah. I was getting bored of it. Yeah. I just was like, I need to mix this up. Yeah. And I just went on a search and found some country line dancing. <laughs> Got out my hat, <laughs> off I went. <laughs> and it was, you know, I just went, I forgot how much fun this is. I was yeah. in hysterics in my flat. My neighbours must have been like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> um, but yeah, I had such a laugh. Oh. And, and so it's find something that brings you joy. 
Yeah. Right. So, I mean, if that's yoga, if that's dance, and if it's a book club, yeah. I mean, I couldn't, for me, that would bore, bore me, bore my brain. I'm not into it. <laughs> but if it's your thing, yeah. do it. And and yeah. everyone is, is you, you'll you find these little groups are sort of springing up now yeah. and different creative ideas. And because we're in this situation, it's donation based or it doesn't cost a lot of money. Yeah. And so and you can just stuff dip your free. toe in. A lot of the stuff is free. A lot. Yeah, a lot of the stuff a is free. A lot. And I love what you're saying um, there because, you know, we have to show up as ourselves. Yeah. You know, we can't. So important. You know, especially when we're spending so much time with ourselves, we really, really, really have to show up as ourselves. So, Cater to yeah. your needs and your family's needs, your immediate uh, sense of self. Because when you do that and you're filled up like that, you have so much more to give everybody else and to take time to to a thought for somebody else or pick up the phone to somebody else. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So my first tip is is find something that works for you. Yeah. Um, we're talking about singing because it, it's, tr it's trialed, it's tested, yeah. it's out there, that singing does all of this for well-being yeah. um but it's not the only route so yeah. find Brilliant. something that you click with yes any and then just you know what yeah and don't give in to fear because that's one thing i had to tell myself i was getting the fear of online yeah. <laughs> we all had to learn this yeah. new skill and become you know some kind of wizard at it with yeah. the pressure to delivering the high standard that we expect of ourselves yeah on an online platform yeah and it's just sort of, so the fear is, we all have the fear, but I think this is a fantastic opportunity yeah. because you know what? You can black out your screen. You don't have to have the video function yeah. on. Yeah. Just get in there, get involved and give it a go. Yes, exactly. What's the worst that can happen? Exactly. If you, if you drop out, say your internet disconnected. Yeah. What have you lost? <laughs> what have you lost? <laughs> I really, oh, Marika, it's so lovely. Marika, it's so lovely to to um to have your your energy because you've got a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful energy, and you know, likewise, oh, you know, I had the fear around coaching. You know, coaching online. I'm a great coach, but then you know, like having to do the thing of setting it all up, and you know, yeah. how do you get people to come forward? How do you make sure that it's you know that everything working for them and they're safe and you're safe and da 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 da. I know. It, I, Changing the living room so that you know because I can't move the light fixture yeah. so I've got to move to the light you know so, it looks like I'm in this wonderful clean office you have no idea of the mess over there there's so much decluttering going on at the moment I for know. everybody I, I was speaking yeah somebody yesterday and he was saying to me you know he felt sorry for the bin man because he had enough he had he put out enough bins for one whole collection <laughs> he didn't oh my god house to contribute right it is that time it's that time for like rearranging and organizing and yeah so I and i'm very big about being authentic and bringing your authentic yeah. self to something because yeah. for so many years i was trying to be who I thought I should be yeah. um, and what the world wanted to see from me. And I just was like, no, I'm going to just, as you were saying, show up as yourself. Yeah. And it's hard and it's scary because yeah. you want to always offer perfection. Yeah. You know, and, and especially when we've trained as opera singers, it's all about the minututai, yeah. the, the, the tiny perfection. Yeah. Um, and, you know, singing for well-being is throw all of that out the window. Yeah. Just don't get hung up on perfection. Don't let the fear stop you. Just yeah. bloody give it a go. Yeah, exactly. And I'm all, all about living and walking your talk. So the thing is, is stop looking the part and start being the part. Totally. Um, yeah, exactly. Totally. Yeah. And you're I've got, I think part, I've... You're not following through with what you do. And I also want to pick up on what you said about grabbing hold of that fear and not being afraid of the fear. And, you know, somebody reminded me yesterday, you know, that, you know, that when we uh, when we stop grabbing hold of the fear, the same uh, molecular and uh, chemical reactions that we have for fear are the same that we have for excitement. So let's yes, oh. like, instead of we're in fear, let's say I'm getting excited about this. Yes, I love that. Yes. Well, it is because if you've, you've already got that energy, you might as well yes. use it for the greater good. Exactly. You know, exactly. Exactly. 
it's a bit, I, you know, it's a bit like skydiving, I guess. I've never done it. No. But it's it's like, I'm sure that, you know, once you, you've got over the initial fear and you jump, it's yeah. the elation, yeah. the thrill, uh, the excitement. And then you're so proud of yourself just that you tried. Oh. Not that you failed, yeah. that you tried. Yeah. Well, yeah. Try is a whole other thing that I will talk about another day. But I, I know, right? There's a whole <laughs> new podcast on that. <laughs> but um, does anybody have any questions that they would like to ask Marika? If you do, please put them in the chat because I'm just going to ask Marika her last couple of questions now. Marika, I just wanted to, to say, is there any lasting things that you wanted to, um, you know, to leave with us or any lasting message that you wanted to leave with us? I, I think just to be kind to yourself yeah I think I think it's a, the big thing at the moment um I can only speak from my own personal opinion yeah. opinions and my own experiences because I I live on my own so yeah. <laughs> you know it's yeah. things that I've been drawing on yeah, yeah. um is that you know you always feel the pressure that you should be doing something yeah or um I, I should use this time wisely and yeah. I've got, you know, a bit more time on my hands and yeah. I should get this online and I, the fear of missing out. I still have the fear of missing out. It's like, oh, what am I missing out? Oh, you know? I don't have that. <laughs> so some days it's like, I'm not going to answer your email. It's going to wait till tomorrow. Yeah. And sometimes it does. It has to. Yeah. It's sort yeah. of like, it's a lovely time to, to re-energize, reset. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I can you know really bring so much more to to the clients as well yeah oh you've so, been so amazing it has been a joy such a joy oh thank moment. you for having me yeah, i'm proud i got up yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm so 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 happy now tomorrow we will have and i i don't know if i'm ever saying her first name right so she will correct me tomorrow but we have kayleen howarth tomorrow she's a performance psychologist she's all the way in australia but she's gonna um join us tomorrow um at uh, 9 a.m to talk about performance psychology which i'm so oh, wow. looking forward to and um yeah once again thank you all for being here thank you all when you watch it later if you watch it later thank you thank you thank you hey Teresa. thank you just hey, thank Teresa. you so much for, for continuing to support this journey and to wake up with us wake up to new energy new life and just celebration thank you so much everybody take care and i'll see you all tomorrow bye 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 <laughs>